Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave Browser has received its latest version upgrade, and the update rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world. Now, once the update has been applied, the browser version and build is sitting on 1.84.132, and the Chromium platform sitting on 142.0.744.60. Now, first of all, just focusing on the Chromium weekly security fixes that have also been made available with this update. And we get 20 security fixes. And out of the 20 security fixes, seven are listed as high severity. So quite a lot in that high severity category. There are no criticals, which is good news. And there are no zero days that have been exploited that need to be patched. And the rest are a couple of mediums and lows. So 20 security fixes have rolled out for the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. So that's quite an important security update. Now, focusing on what's new with this latest version, version 1.84. And first of all, if you are using the wallet, there's an add-on, there are a couple of updates, and there are two bug fixes. And Brave does focus a lot on that wallet if you are using the cryptocurrency side of things in the browser. And then Brave Leo, which is the AI assistant, once again gets a lot of attention in this update. So I'm just going to go through a couple of these, which I think you may be interested in. Brave says it's added Manage Memories to the main menu. Brave also says it's updated the order of the main menu items. And it's also updated the main menu user interface by removing customized padding. So obviously that's just to make it a little bit more compact. And Brave says it's also added the ability to search through your saved conversation memory. And it's also increased the line width of the Brave Leo chat window. And just to mention the last one for this video, Brave says regarding Leo AR that it's updated sorting for recommended models in the model selector. And there are a couple of other improvements taking place under the hood for Leo AR. And then just to focus on some general improvements. Now, the first one I'm not seeing because if we head to the settings appearance, according to Brave, it's added a setting called hard completely when minimized on the appearance page, more specifically to show or hide vertical tabs. And I've looked on this page and I'm not seeing that setting. So that could be on a controlled rollout. Nothing like that showing up in my settings unless I'm missing something. But nonetheless, just keeping you guys posted. And then there are two security fixes for the browser itself for Brave. And Brave says, if we head back to settings, this time over to sync. Brave says that it's enabled password syncing by default for new Brave sync instances. And nice to see more improvements for the ad blocker, Brave Shields, with Brave saying all they say is improved ad blocking. And as far as I'm concerned, as I've mentioned previously on the channel, Brave has one of the best ad blockers out there. And Brave says it's also updated the bookmark folder icon in the bookmark bar. So that's a UI interface, a little tweak and adjustment. And the active tab, according to Brave, now uses the selected color theme. If you do have a color theme applied in the browser, I don't, but if you do, and Brave says it's also updated the split view tabs to use the selected color theme as well. So any tabs in a split view, if you have a theme enabled, will also now be applied to split view tabs. And then the last one just to mention for this video. Brave says it's fixed an issue where sometimes the sidebar is not shown when the mouse is moved quickly to the edge of a full screen window. 
And then guys, there's a couple of other removals and there are fixes for Tor and Speed Reader and so on. But those are the improvements I thought you may be interested in. So that's the latest version of Brave browser version 1.84 with Chromium 142. And we are still waiting for Microsoft Edge to receive its weekly security fixes. And Edge is also going to be upgraded to Edge 142. That update should be rolling out later today, and if not later today, tomorrow. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.